Alright guys, welcome to the second installment of Rick and Robert Do Stuff. Alright, so uh, we we have doubled, almost tripled our followers since this time last week. So we thought it might be the perfect opportunity to uh, introduce ourselves in this, uh, this video and also to uh, just kind of give you just a small glimpse in what a uh, in what a day in the life might look like uh, for us, Robert. Some of the stuff that just comes up randomly throughout the day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, pretty random sums it up, <laughs> actually. Uh, but pretty random sums it up. Well, well just to, to introduce yourselves, I'm going to let Robert go first, introduce yourself a little bit, and then I'll just kind of tell you just a little bit about my stuff, some of my backstory, and why we are here. But before we begin, we want to uh, give a shout out to our sponsors, Galaxy Stream Fitness and Phoenix Graphics. And if you were here last week, I got it right this time. <laughs> so, all right. So thank you guys for uh, checking us in. Be sure to subscribe, click, and, bl and there's a bell. And then you can ring a bell. You ring the bell. There's ding the bell. Ding I have, the bell, please listen, do. I found out from the last last thing that the ding the bell is the notification. Yeah. So you can set up notifications. And always think, comment uh, below, comment. Right? Yeah, yeah, let us know what you're thinking. Down here somewhere. About this particular situation. All right, Rob, go for it. Well, yeah, it's uh. As he said, we're going to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Um, Robert, um, actually, I'll tell you my last name eventually. Right now, I'm, I'm going to hold it close to the chest. But uh, why you should listen to us, why you should actually pay attention to the channel, why you should do anything. Basically, I've been a gym rat since last century. That sounds like a long time ago, early 90s, late 90s. Like a Viking. Uh, <laughs> just years and years ago. <laughs> All like the millennials. The it was the 90s, right? <laughs> it was the 90s. <laughs> it's, it's scary. It's scary to think about. It's last century. <laughs> but the kids and the, the family like to remind you how old you are. Um, definitely been competitive my whole life, not knowing I was competitive until someone else did better than me, this guy. And uh, then I had to step it up a notch, and yeah, he hasn't. I haven't seen him since, so it's, uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. moved to town from... I basically traveled. I'm a rolling stone. Grew up in upstate New York. Traveled all around the country. Ended up in a small town, Galax, Virginia. And uh, just was competing, running, doing all this fun stuff. And uh, met Rick very shortly after getting here to town. Probably a blessing in disguise, worst thing that ever happened kind of thing. It's like it mixed and matched. We just touch and go is a good it, phrase. Yeah, we clicked, <laughs> we clicked really well and it was a perfect time for both of us to be there. And he said, why don't we go do this thing in the woods where you run through mud, you move tires, you do this. And this is back in, uh, what, 2012? Yes, 20, yeah, I think it was 2012. 2012, 2013. Because I was, I was it, right about that midlife yeah. crisis. You come in, and I was about 30-something, 30 30-something 30 when you rolled in. So yeah, same here. Place, I'm 30-something also. Not anymore. But <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, then. Then, then. Let's go back in 30-something before. Nonetheless, did that and found that we both really enjoyed it. It was something that fit our physiques and what we were doing because we trained a certain way. Uh, later on, when I was training with some other people, I, kind of, I heard the phrase and I didn't coin it, I didn't make it, but it was outlift a runner and outrun a lifter. And that basically means you're functionally fit. You're going to be doing whatever you can to just excel and be more than mediocre no matter where you're going to be stepping in. And uh, found OCR racing. We did a Tough Mudder race. He and I did that, and many memories were th um, came from that. Freezing cold, blankets, um, emergency blankets were brought out. It was, yeah, just getting back to the car was the, the hardest part of that day. That, that, that was a good day. That was, that, good day. Was, that was my 35th birthday, actually. We did that that's in, true. in that's the true. mountains of uh, West Virginia. That's Absolutely. Right. It was good. good Mid-Atlantic. That's right. Good times. Good times. Um, definitely just about me. Uh, enjoy being pushed to the limit and pushing people to the, the limits they don't think they can do. So looking at the hidden potential someone has and just saying, I know it's there. Don't say you can't. Say, I'll get it next time or I'll get it time after that. Just basically motivating people and I find myself doing that all day. Just today at the gym, I dropped in, they're having a class and I couldn't stop myself from saying, hey, try this exercise this way or you're doing a great job. Try this. Just push them up, just uh, encouraging people I would say. Absolutely. Stumble over my words a little bit too when I'm excited and uh, we'll do that a lot on this channel. It's gonna be great. Um, that being said, I love the gym but I'm probably, I've called myself the most unhealthy healthy person. Uh, I go to the gym a lot, I exercise a lot, I eat very badly. Um, 
I eat um, whatever's around at the time, at any time. So it could be fried food, it could be salads, it's whatever. Sometimes I get in a kick where it's all mac and cheese all the time. And that's, yeah, it's not a bad way to eat. No, yeah, it, it'll catch up to you later. <laughs> but in a nutshell, that's who I am. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more, more backstory, some of the Tom Fuller we've done. Uh, I don't have your notes over here, who you are, so who are you? Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, to kind of just catch up with what Robert's going on, talking about the physical fitness and stuff and uh, the things that we've done, uh, the way we cross paths. Actually, I started, um, I was a high school athlete, played all the organized sports, uh, or the sports for me. I played golf, basketball, and tennis. I always enjoyed that. Had, um, had You know, it wasn't great, but had pretty solid careers and definitely had a good time playing sports. Um, actually leaked into college a little bit, uh, you know, just played the intramural ball, stuff like that. Um, and as I got older, it kind of got away from me. And so uh, it, it's one thing led another, just kind of caught up. And uh, by the age of about 29, the doctor says, hey, Rick, you got to work on some stuff. And so, I, you know, high blood pressure, you know, you just got a lot of stuff going on. I was like, all right, so can I outrun it? And the doctor said, yeah. He said, if you, but you're going to have to stay at it and stay active. And so I did. At that, at that time, I started um, running 5Ks, 10Ks, that type of stuff. Of course, I'm a type that gets bored very easily. So that's when I found, uh, I jumped in and I tagged a bunch of partners in crime to get into some mud runs. So we ran a couple, three mud runs, and then my man Roberto came on the scene right in the middle of all that madness. And so, uh, we, so we picked up, and uh, and just like he said, he started pushing me, and I started pushing him, and uh, we just kind of hasn't stopped. Uh, I'm just a little bit lazier than him. That's all good. We're not going to talk about that today. Uh, but so uh, we did the tough mudder, and then it kind of just, or we did the uh, Goodwill uh, mud run in yep. South Carolina, uh, which was uh, down in Greenville, South Carolina. Yep. Then we picked up, and then we did the tough, uh, the tough mudder in West Virginia, and then it's just kind of been a free for all from there. Robert's done some of his own stuff. I've done some of my own stuff. I kind of got out of the mud for a little bit. Uh, I went into the uh, American Ninja Warrior spectrum. I will lead with I'm not a very good Ninja Warrior, but I've had a good time and I've had a really, uh, I've met just a, a lot of people and it just within the community and I, it's been something that I've been wanting to share. And so yeah, with that being said, I've done a lot of coaching, done a lot of teaching along the way, so it kind of was just a natural fit for me was to learn these skills and then pass them on to somebody else that could really be good with it and really use them. So, uh, so that's uh, that's kind of how this all thing got started. And we're just pushing, uh, pushing Robert, Robert pushing me, back and forth. Um, and so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, pushed, pushed, pushed each other into creating a gym where we could push each other more. Absolutely, that was, that's crazy. We, stuff. we did, and that's where the the, the gay like <laughs> with, with the gay like extreme. I got the I got the side wrong where the gay like extreme fitness uh, was born, and we started with a basic. Uh, the deal was we really wanted to do something more like a Rocky type, uh, Rocky esque type gym, something that was just yep. it, it didn't have to be fancy, it didn't have to be pretty. It was just a you got you went in, you trained hardcore, and you got the job done and for us yep. it has and it's still standing for us we still go uh, we've got a lot of other places that we travel and a lot of places that else we work at yep. but the, the, that mainstay is still there and so that's uh, and, uh, we if we ever got it we have, ever have to get back down to the basics we know we can show up and put the work in there so and we may drop in an old video from time to time of us being ridiculous over in a really small room that's the, where it was the word is sketchy people <laughs> sketchy we trained Safety swap, Robert. Safety's third. Safety is third. <laughs> you come straight, straight third. Come with us, but uh, but we always uh, but we always have a good time, and we always try to get uh, uh, push uh, each other, and that's one of the best things about it is come that's came out of this friendship is not only that, but also do we find ourselves in some of the most awkward, <laughs> weird conversations, situations, but not in a creepy way. But not in a creepy way, and then this is and this is the segue to our to our show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Is we were in a conversation earlier this week, and we it was a it was a legitimate conversation, and we're talking about something that we were going to do, and then the phrase following it was, but not in a creepy way. Yeah. All right. I don't know what that means for you guys, but just as soon as you say "not in a creepy way." It automatically makes that situation creepy. 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 So uh, we, uh, it was just like, hey, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming to see you over the store today, Robert. But nothing creepy. But nothing creepy. See what is it? Hey, <laughs> hey, dude, your muscles are huge, man. You're really working out. But nothing creepy. Nothing creepy. See, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit, guys. No. And so, <laughs> so we There's... went on this whole 15 minute tirade. Uh. 
about how, and use this phrase in probably some forms that were appropriate and probably some that were a touch not, but it was a hilarious type situation. So Robert has come up with a list of things of other situations that you might find yourself in during your, uh, you know, during your work life or during your, your, your social outings where you, you run into these weird things that people say that are kind of like, what and would you call it, like backhanded comments? It's off, backhanded comments. Offhanded stuff. And but everybody does. Everybody you don't even wrong. realize you're doing all of a sudden you're saying something like, uh, no offense, but those jeans, they're, are they your daughters? Uh, or <laughs> he's talking to me you know, and I'm like, no. And they're they're not. Know, the skinny jeans, they just got to go. <laughs> I'm into the dad jeans, comfortable fit stuff, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm talking about my skinny jeans. You know? <laughs> or or you, you say something, don't take this the wrong way. If the sentence starts out that way, they're going to take it the wrong way. There's, there's no way to be nice about that. <laughs> to be honest is another one of the good phrases. Let me. Can I be honest with you for a second? Yeah, I can't hang out with you anymore. <laughs> Whatever you say after to be honest. And there's so many more. It's like, I start jumping on the Googles. And the Googles, they lead you down the, the certain stray path. And uh, there's just a whole list. I mean, there's, to be honest, if I were you, if I were you, I really wouldn't go down and do that. Or See, now, that's, where I, that's where I say, I say yeah. I will say, if I were you, I was coming, I'm not telling you what to do, but here's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. And then that's kind of how I try to get into those conversations. Like, I catch myself doing that often. I'm not saying I'm always right. Because I think I was wrong once in like 1995, but that was another that was decade. Wrong that was another I thought decade. I was wrong once. I thought I was wrong once. That I was mistaken. <laughs> Dad jokes, guys. Dad you jokes. made here a couple. For days. <laughs> what was the one you said earlier tonight? Uh, the, you know what makes me throw up? Putting the dartboard on the ceiling. Really, dude? <laughs> really? And I'm a... <laughs> I got I'm, this is this from the guy that got the dad joke book for Christmas. Okay, so I know like I, I know they're out saying, there. They're out. That's there. horrible. Yeah, but didn't, like, didn't make it. Also, but, searching the Googles. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna throw, we'll throw these darts up in the air. But nothing creepy. No, but nothing creepy. Yeah. Right. Why you searching the Google? Searching nothing the Google. Creepy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing creepy. I'm searching the Google, but nothing creepy. Uh, so yeah, these are these are the things that you're. You're going to see on this channel with the, the the back and forth and the banter as we come out with some a lot of different topics. We've got a list. Um, I've at, actually challenged Robert at least to three meme. things long at least. Yeah, at yeah, least it's, three. It's, and I challenged Robert to a, 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 like a meme duel. You understand? There's something else we do in our daily lives. If we're, if we're really talking about what we do here, yeah, folks, yeah. we can have a full day conversation in just memes. Memes alone. Memes alone. I. <laughs> Here is your Rick and Robert do stuff challenge. There you go. Comment down below. Show us. Now, keep it classy, people. But show us what a meme conversation of yours will look like. We'll actually get in there. We'll post some of our stuff because yep. the, we challenge you. That, Rick and Robert, we're putting a challenge out, dog. Hey, let's do it. We're putting I'd a like challenge it. out to you guys. Um, and and that's one thing that we'll also be looking at, too, on the, is uh, different types of exercises like the crazy wild stuff that... I think I've referred to it earlier. Sketchy. Yep. We'll be doing a lot of sketchy stuff. So I mean, nothing creepy, but but, not but, creepy but, but sketchy, but not in a creepy way. <laughs> There's a little bit about Rick and Robert. Comment any other stuff, crazy wild stuff that you want to put down below. Just give us a shout. And you can start uh, if it's in the fitness realm, and you're got a question about it. If you say you want to see somebody do an exercise or do a crazy exercise. <laughs> Comment it below. We've already probably done it. We, we may just, do it. We may we can we get it out of the or we'll dig it out of the archives. The archives, you. that's the word I was looking for. Or we archives. can show you how, how we've done it and failed. Even better. <laughs> I'll probably delete it all though. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I like I come here to win. Looking forward to this ride. We are two for two. Two for two. Gay Gay Lecture Stream Fitness. Phoenix, Phoenix Graphics. Graphics. Gay Lex Virginia. Power up OCT. Thanks very much. We out. See ya.